Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I will teach you some effective ways to read a book on your iPad. Right now I have this Kindle app open and I always read a book on Kindle and I read books that cover topics of design, business, and health a lot. And I assume many of you read books on your iPad as well. But the problem is, once you download your books and read them on Kindle, you kind of forget about them over time. Or you might forget some of the important points mentioned in these books that you read. So today I want to teach you some tips that will be helpful for you to organize and remember important points. I will use this app Kindle today, but all the tips I've covered today can be applied to other similar apps too, so I hope you make use of them. With the Kindle app, I'll also use this app Apple Books, which we all have by default. Do you guys use this already? It's a free app we all have by default, but I doubt many people use it, so I hope you learn how to use it as well. Okay, let's start with Kindle. I'm going to introduce you to a book I highly recommend as well. There is this book called Making Perfect Presentation Materials. And I'll tell you this book is really great, so I want all of you to read it if you can too. The author of this book used to work with Mr. Song from SoftBank, and he included all the tips on documents and presentation materials that he used himself to pass the first time around by Mr. Son all in one book. And after reading this book, I feel like my presentation has always been successful 100% too. So I highly recommend this book to all of you watching this video. Let's forget about the content of this book for now. And I assume you say books that you like somewhere. There's a bookmark feature in Kindle too, and I bet many of you take a screenshot as well. Swipe left or right with the Apple Pencil like this to take a screenshot. I personally like this highlight feature in Kindle, so what I do is to trace these lines with my finger like this to highlight them, and take a screenshot once I highlighted them. Just like this, you can save your favorite page as a screenshot image in your camera roll. I always save a table of contents. So save all of these table of contents you can find in the beginning of a book. And for this book, you can find many diagrams too, and it tells you how to create graphs like these or how to position letters, as well as some ways to make presentation slides and keynote, etc. So go ahead and save all. Just like this, once you have all the pages you want to read again later save here, go to your camera roll. If you look at your camera roll, all the pages you just took a screenshot of should be saved here as you can see. But a way to do it is to first select all the screenshot images. Once you select it all, there is a share button at the upper left, so tap it. Now a pop-up like this should appear, so select the option that says print. You won't be printing them out, but make sure to tap print. Now this pop-up should appear, and as you wait for a bit, this page should be displayed on this gray area. Right now it's on print preview mode, and here you can find some secrets or magic. So while keeping as it is, pinch out with your three fingers towards the outside. Now it should be in PDF format. So you can find all the pages here on the right, or you can scroll down like this to go to the next page. So now you have a PDF version of this. Isn't it super cool? It was just a JPEG file on print preview mode, but just by pinching out like I showed you, it, it turns into your PDF file. Now you bring it over to Apple Books. But if you can, please have the cover at the very top. You'll see why once you go to Apple Books later. But having the cover at the top makes things so much easier for you to understand. Now click on the share button at the upper right. And this is where you can select Apple Books, but I assume you don't have it as an option. So select others from here. 
As you select others, there should be this option that says copy to Apple Books at the bottom, so tap it. Now it should take you to Apple Books as you can see here. Then as you swipe here, all the screenshot pages that were saved in PDF earlier can be found here. Isn't this pretty amazing? If you do the same thing on Kindle, then you have some pages that are unnecessary too here and there. But in this way, you can only save the pages of your favorite on Apple Books. So basically what I have here in Apple Books is a collection of my favorite pages. Just like this, I make use of both the Apple Books and Kindle. What's great about Apple Books is that you click the tab here at the upper left, it enables you to see a list of pages like this. This is something you can't find in Kindle, so in case you want to see an overview of all the pages and select from them, this feature comes in really handy. So I find Apple Books helpful when it comes to reading as well. Another thing you can find in Apple Books but not in Kindle is that there is this feature called Markup. Markup is a feature that's only available in Apple apps you have by default. And it enables you to take some notes by writing some words, highlighting with a marker, etc. This can be helpful especially when you want to leave some notes for others, so I personally like this Markup feature too. In Apple Books, you can also purchase some books within this app. I'm going to briefly explain here as I assume many of you don't really use this app. If you go to the bookstore in the center, it shows you a bunch of books like this. So all you have to do is to tap on this button to make a purchase. For any books you bought, they should be displayed in Apple Books. Here you can also find categories such as best-selling books, newly released ones, or recommended books by genre, etc. And just looking at these books is pretty fun, so I suggest you try and see what they offer as well. This is something Kindle doesn't really do. They do recommend some books, but it's not as good as this one. And they often make you go to the Amazon website when you want to browse some books. But in this app, Apple Books, you can do everything from seeing all the books they recommend for you to making a purchase. So for those who haven't used this app yet, please give it a try at least once and see. It's pretty interesting. Okay, that was just a quick introduction to my reading hacks on the iPad today. I've tried some other ways but I find this method the best, so please give it a try by making use of both these Kindle and Apple Books. I've actually done a similar video a little while ago where I introduced you to how to save your favorite images through the use of this app called Files. But it was after I released a video where I learned that it can be saved in PDF format by pinching out with three fingers from the print option. So please ignore that video on the same topic. This video teaches you a faster way to save them in PDF format. So please give this a try. Also, if you know any reading tips or hacks, please let me know in the comments section down below and I'll be really happy. Alright, that's all for today. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching my video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye!